morning time for video 13 um, video 13 will build on um, the exercises the series we did in video 11 um, there's just a small change one one exercise will move over to the even videos um, but for the rest, uh, it's just a consolidation, um, becoming more familiar with the new exercises that were introduced, um, especially the, the twist, the spinal twist triangle. Um, what can I say? Enjoy your practice, most of all. Try to practice on a fairly regular basis so that you're actually really building something, developing. If you can put in the discipline, at least some discipline, to practice on a fairly regular basis, you will notice um, unbelievable, literally unbelievable increase of strength, um, some flexibility, and as a result of that, um, an amazing sense of well-being that you may not have experienced before. So um, let's get to it, I think. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Just for a minute, we clear. We clear our mind in silence by simple observation. Slowly open the eyes again. Please stand up. Time to get to work. We start with Tadasana, the mountain pose. Feet parallel, straighten the legs, tilt the pelvis a little bit forward, shoulders a little bit back, stretch up the back of the neck. From Tadasana we go on to Friksasana. Okay. I prefer to do that on a bare floor for the sake of balance. Okay. From Tadasana we shift away to one foot. We bring the foot, the other foot, up as high as possible. Place it on the back of the inner thigh. Level the hips horizontally as good as you can, as well as you can. Then, keeping the shoulders depressed, we actively stretch up. Sometimes people ask, what does it mean keeping the shoulders depressed? If you don't keep the shoulders depressed and you stretch up, your shoulders go up like this. See the difference? Keeping the shoulders depressed is this. You keep the shoulders down while actually 
trying to reach for the ceiling at the same time. Breathe deep and calm, consolidate in silence. Come back, start with the hands, slowly and controlled. Then we put the foot down, slowly and controlled. And we relax for a moment, in Tadasana. And we switch. Slowly, build up. Level the hips, shoulders depressed actively, stretch up, slowly come back okay go back to the mat take a deep breath Udita Trikonasana the triangle pose spread the feet not too wide misalign the feet always misalign the feet inhale deep Stretch up the flanks, exhale, tilt the pelvis, do not bend the upper body. Utita really means to keep the upper body straight, the legs straight, the upper body straight, do not bend. When you bend, you become passive. Open the belly, open the chest. All the work is done in the hips. back back to Tadasana take a deep breath relax for a moment and we switch misalign the feet inhale deep exhale Focus on the tilt of the pelvis, maximum tilt. Open the belly, open the chest. All the heavy work is done in the hips.
then slowly come back. Tadasana. Take a deep breath. Relax for a moment. Udita Parsvakonasana. The extended flank pose or the wide triangle as it is known in English. Spread the feet wide, place the feet, misalign the feet. Inhale deep, exhale bend the front leg, then bring the flank and the arm in line with the rear leg. Do not lean on the hand or elbow. slowly come back back to Tadasana relax for a moment take a deep breath then spread the feet again for the other side misalign the feet don't forget Inhale deep, exhale bend the front leg, and erect. You don't want to erect in this way because then you're going to bend, so try to keep this flank straight. For a moment. Okay, first warrior pose, Virabhadra one. Spread the feet wide again, misalign. Join the heads. Turn 90 degrees, inhale deep, exhale, bend the front leg, then elongate the spine, stretch up, arch back. Do not drop the head back, that in the, in the, in the long term will damage the neck, so just look up at the ceiling in an angle of approximately um, 30 degrees. Slowly come back, take a little rest. Then we switch, spread the feet wide, join the hands, turn 90 degrees, inhale deep, exhale bend the front leg. And actively stretch up, arch back.
and slowly come back. Take a little rest, take a deep breath. Second warrior pose, Vira Badra 2. Spread wide again. Feet misaligned. Inhale deep. Stretch up the flanks under the armpits. Bend the front leg. Then remember, you do the opposite here with the hips than you are used to in the previous poses because you want to keep the spine perfectly vertically erect. If you do not do this trick with the hips, you just let it go naturally. The pelvis will rotate and your back will be like a banana, curved. You want to keep it straight and you accommodate that by tilting the pelvis in the opposite direction. Consolidate. Come back, relax for a moment. Back switch, spread wide, misalign the feet, inhale deep, stretch up, and bend the front leg. Exhale, open the pelvis. slowly come back relax for a moment then we have the recently introduced pose parifrita trikonasana a variation on the triangle pose with a spinal twist. We spread the feet just a little, otherwise the alignment is not possible, proper alignment. Misalign the feet, turn 90 degrees. You notice the rear foot wants to turn in approximately, um, what is it, 120 degrees. Bend while keeping the back hollow purely pivoting on the hip joints and before the back bends stop going down stop bending forward and complete the twist focus on not bending the back from the beginning Come back. Tadasana, take a deep breath, relax for a moment. Then we switch. Not too wide. Turn 90 degrees. Bend forward, maintaining a hollow back. Complete the twist. Don't lean on the hand.
slowly, slowly come back again. Relax for a moment. Take a deep breath. And the last standing pose, Parsvatanasana. One leg forward bent. Like in the previous pose, we spread the feet just a little in order to accommodate proper alignment. Join the hands behind the back. If you can't join the hands behind the back, join the, uh, grab the elbows, the forearms, turn 90 degrees. And first we arch back as far as we can. And then maintaining that hollow back, purely pivoting on the hip joints, we bend forward. Do not give in to the tendency to bend. You lose the effect of the pose. Keep the head up a little. The moment you drop the head, the rest of the spine follows. So keep the head up a little, maintain a hollow back. Visualize the tailbone pointing up. To the ceiling. slowly come back, slowly untangle the hands, avoid shock in the shoulders, relax for a moment. Then we switch, spread the feet not too wide, join the hands behind the back. Push the hands up as far as it goes. Turn 90 degrees. Stretch up, arch back as far as you can. And then maintaining a hollow back bend forward. for a moment, take a deep breath. The Savasana is probably going to become your most favorite yoga pose. And that's the very reason why you're not allowed to stay longer than a minute. Otherwise you destroy all the effort you have done in your workout. Close the eyes, breathe deep and calm and relax the whole body comfortably.
Okay, then we pass the fingers. We stretch ourselves out. And we slowly go back. Time for a short meditation. Sit on your cushion or your folded blanket, towel. Five minutes. In silence. Observation. Keep it simple. Simply try to be aware of what you hear, what you feel, and eventually what you think. Simple as it is, it's incredibly effective in making the subconscious thought processes conscious. You become consciously aware of thoughts that 24 hours a day continue and you're not even aware of it. This is the start of self-realization. Breathe deep and calm, and off we go, five minutes.
slowly open the eyes again. Nice, huh? This is the real secret of yoga, you know? It is... Um, sad is maybe not the right word, or maybe it is. Yoga has become popularized in the late 1990s. And with that, traditional yoga has been thrown overboard, and what we have is an exercise which, don't get me wrong, exercise is always good for a human being. But what we are left with is an exercise that is not in line with what yoga is about. There's constant movement, music, teacher talks too much. There's no standing still. One of the big secrets, one of the elements of real magic in yoga is what standing still does with us, with the human being, the body and the mind. But for most people on the servers, that's boring. Standing still is boring. It's only boring if you haven't experienced the magic that it gives you. The transformation that takes place, that is just amazing. Once you experience it, you become addicted to it as I have been addicted to yoga for the past 36 years. We will come back to that time and time again. Yoga is too beautiful to not reveal. I prefer to practice in silence, but I have to speak. I have to speak up and let everybody know how amazing real yoga is in accordance practiced in accordance with the ancient tradition thank you for watching have a wonderful day and looking forward to seeing you in the next video and i promise you someday i will explain why i never say namaste thank you Bye-bye.